My name is Annika Beresford and I am the um, Interim Service Manager here at We Are With You Chai. We are a, um, a residential rehabilitation unit working with people who are suffering from or have experience of um, alcohol and drug use, um, which has been you know, causing issues in their lives. So tell us a bit about, because it's a 12 week programme isn't it, That's tell us a correct. bit about what they go through on that programme. So uh, residents that come here need to be free from dr drugs and alcohol for at least five days so we don't tolerate any um, use of, of any drugs or alcohol on the premises at all. Um, we work on a, a total abstinence basis so we look to um, work with the clients to look for a, a, you know, a longer life and happy contented life free from any um, alcohol or drugs and it is um, a 12 week programme so within the 12 weeks they will look at all sorts of different things so they'll have an opportunity to work with one to one with a practitioner so all of our practitioners are qualified counsellors um, so everyone all of the residents are allocated to a, one counsellor so they'll have at least one counselling hour a week um, but they tend to have a lot more because we're a 24-7 um, service so there's always trained staff on um, the built in the building to be able to support them with any emotional um, things that come up for them following any of the, the groups um, or their one-to-one -one sessions. So a, a normal day would be that the, the, the clients would um, have two groups a day, so that might be relapse prevention, it might be looking at boundaries, it might be looking at personal relationships, um, and we also have our um, art psychotherapy um, course which has been specially written and produced for Chai so we're really fortunate to have that and that's looking at clients um, with, and their formative trauma which we find is, is prevalent with a lot of our residents and so it gives them an opportunity to use clay or art of, of any description um, with the psychotherapist to um, be able to express some of the emotions and the thoughts and feelings that they might not be able to verbalise. Um, it's very much a home for um, our residents, you know, we invite them in, we, we, they take part in all the day-to-day -day running of the house, so they do the cooking and they do the cleaning and, shoppings and shopping lists and, and all of those things, um, which is really helping people to get ready for being able to live independently. Um, lots of our clients might come here having unfortunately been homeless or sofa surfing or maybe have lost their home or their family and it is about helping them to regain that sense of confidence, regain their self-esteem, you know, regain their sense of self-worth which unfortunately a lot of our residents lose as a result of, of their drug or alcohol use. So we help them hopefully to gain that independence again so that they can go forward and you know be members of society again which is often what our residents really want to do. There may be a stigma in the community with regards to the type of person who might use drugs or, or alcohol and you know we do hear negative things in the press however my experience of our clients here is that underneath that is, a, is often real trauma um, you know real hurt and, and people that really do want to get their lives back you know it's not um, alcohol and, and drugs aren't just for people who are homeless you know they are actually it afflicts people from all different walks of life it's you know it's non-discriminatory we have a lot of people here with um, severe mental health disorders perhaps or um, they might be having neurodiversity and so we try our best in a person-centered way to blend and to be able to offer what each individual client might need to gain you know the confidence to move forward